Welcome to BCS Media and to the Brown County Junior High School. I'm Marie. And I'm Aiden. Our guest is Brown County Junior High School Principal, Mr. Brian Garman. Mr. Garman, welcome to our program. Thank you. We are planning a series of programs to bring you school news and information. Our first program is about our principal, Mr. Garman. Mr. Garman, tell us where you're originally from and where you went to high school and college. Well, I'm originally from north of Fort Wayne, a town called Auburn in DeKalb County. So in the northeastern part of the corner of the state, but I spent most of my life in the southwestern part of, my, of the state in Washington, Indiana. So we moved down there and I went to most of my school there. I graduated in 1985, a long time ago, and I went to Indiana University. Why did you choose education as a career? Well, I, I think uh, for several reasons. One, I, I was a history major and a political science major, and I wasn't really quite sure what to do with that. Uh, I've always liked history and political science, and my dad suggested getting an endorsement to teach because I was involved in athletics all through high school, and I thought, well, I might like to coach something, and I'd love to talk about history and political science, so I thought, well, maybe that would be something to do, and uh, I got fortunate enough right out of college to get a job here at Brown County, and I've uh, been doing this now for 26 years. Well, we love having you yeah. there. Well, thank you. <laughs> appreciate it. So what experiences do you have at Brown County Schools, and how did you end up being at Brown County High School, Brown County Junior High School principal? Well, I started teaching here in 1990, and those were great years that I taught here. Um, and then I, I had a chance to do a lot of different things. I had a chance to be dean of students, uh, and then I, the uh, athletic director position opened up at the high school, so I did that for 11 years. I spent some time filling in for Mrs. Oliver as a principal at the elementary school at Spernica. Uh, and then when this opportunity uh, uh, you know, came up, I, I just thought, wow, I want to come back to the place where I started. Right. I like this age group. I, it's my favorite age group of all the age groups I've worked with. And I so, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It's a great age. And so I just thought this would be a perfect time in my life and a great opportunity to come back kind of to the building where it started for me. That's so cool. Yeah. That's amazing. So what are some of your goals for Brown County Junior High School? Well, you know, we, we want Brown County Junior High School to be a place that all students, uh, you know, have the opportunity to learn. We want it to be a safe place, uh, a place where you feel like you can come here every single day and be challenged academically. And, you know, we want you to grow not only academically, but socially, too. And so we want to give you a, a wide range of opportunities to really grow academically and socially here. What do you like best about being our principal? Well, to be honest with you, I like best are times like this. I, I really like oh, opportunities to interact with students. And I don't always get to do that. You'll probably notice that a lot of times you maybe don't see me a lot during the day. And that's because we have meetings or I, I have things I have to do that are not the most fun things that I do. The most fun things that I do are getting in the hallways and actually being able to talk to students and work with students directly. So that's what I miss most about teaching is that I was able to interact with students on a daily basis doing something that I really like. Well, we do appreciate all the hard yeah. work well, thank that you. I appreciate that. our school. So what are some of the challenges of being a principal? Well, I think the, the biggest challenge is probably just kind of juggling all the different hats that you wear. I mean, there's a lot of different responsibilities that you have from, from supervising teachers to supervising students to developing curriculum uh, to worrying about standardized testing. So it's just kind of juggling a lot of different things and making sure that you're well organized and that right. you're kind of on mm -hmm. top of all the different things that you have to be. Uh, to be a principal in a school. So, what do you think of our staff members? Well, we have a great staff at, at the junior high school. Um, you know, I, I just think that, uh, especially uh, in the time I've been here, we've been we've been able to add some really great people, and uh, you know, I wouldn't trade them for anyone. I think that they are dedicated to kids. They're very student centered. Uh, they're serious they about what they do, uh, and and they're here every single day really to help students, and that's what we want. So, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't be more happy with the staff we have. So how do you think teaching has changed since you were in a classroom? Well, it, it's really changed a lot. When, when I first got my job in 1990, our principal then was Mr. Goodpaster. And Mr. Goodpaster said, you know, here's your book. Um, here's your 165 students that you have, which was a lot more than teachers have today. Uh, and go get them. That was kind of <laughs> the way it was. And so we didn't, I didn't really see him a whole lot. I think today the principal is much more involved and active with, with what goes on in the classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, I think that there's a lot more of, um, of evaluation of curriculum, evaluation of, of obviously I-STEP and the, res and the results that we have on standardized testing. 
so I, I just think that it's changed a, a lot. I could I could probably talk to you for an hour about how it's changed. Uh, it's just a very different environment than when I started 26 years ago. So, Mr. Garman, on a personal note, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm married to Mrs. Garman. Maybe some of you have had mm -hmm. Mrs. Garman. She teaches math at the intermediate school, and we've been married for a long time. Uh, in fact, I met Mrs. Garman here. Uh, yeah, she was. Uh, I was uh, my second year teaching, and she was uh, finishing up college, and she was a cheer coach, and I was coaching football, and and uh, and we met and uh, got married, and we have two children. Both of them are in college, so uh, uh, we live uh, in Unionville area. And uh, other than that, I, I, my biggest hobby is golf. I'm, I'm obsessed with golf. I have been for a long time. Uh, really got obsessed with it in college and have been playing and, uh, ever since. And so those are, that's my main hobby. But I also like to do a lot of things outside. I've always got a project going on at home, either something I'm doing with the house or something outside. I, I like to keep busy and I, I like to work with my hands. So, Mr. Garman, thank you for being on our program today. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching our program. I'm Marie. And I'm Aiden. We hope to see you on our next program. Have, Have a great day. day.